Hi guys, welcome back to Kali J's Kitchen. Today I'll take you back in the kitchen with me and I'll show you how I prepared my Jamaican sweet potato pudding. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like, share and comment and tell a friend to tell another friend about Kali J's Kitchen. You can also follow me on Facebook, Kali J's Kitchen. The link for my Facebook page will be in the description box. You can also go ahead and check out all of my recipes. They're listed in the description box as well. So here I have some margarine. I also have some nutmeg dasheen if you don't have dasheen you could go ahead and use yam I also have my sweet potato refined cornmeal and I also have all purpose flour coconut milk I also have some mixed fruits that I already blended sugar brown sugar I also have some coconut trash, I'm going to use some cinnamon powder, some mixed spice for baking, and I also have some vanilla flavoring. So first thing what you want to do, you want to go ahead and peel your dasheen and you also want to peel your sweet potato. So I'm just going to go ahead and peel my dasheen. And again, guys, some persons might say, but I don't have dasheen. Again, you can use yellow yam. So go to the market and you can pick up your yellow yam and come home and make your sweet potato pudding. Once you have some sweet potato at home that you're not using. Or you can just buy some and say, okay, I want to make sweet potato pudding. So for me, guys, I normally... When I peel my potatoes, I normally slice them in half. Or my dashing, whatever I'm peeling, I normally slice it in half so that I can grate it. Once I'm going to grate it, I'm going to slice it so that it's a little bit easier for me to handle on the grate. So guys, once again, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Like, share and comment and tell a friend to tell another friend about Kali J's Kitchen. And also guys, I want you to go over to my friend's channel, Er. Uh, our YouTube channel name is Watch Tiffy Talent. Go over and subscribe to her channel. Tell her Kali J sent you. And leave some nice comments and make sure you subscribe to her channel. Okay, guys? Get her to 1K subscribers. So now it's time to go ahead and peel this big boy. As you can see, I was trying to cut it in half, but this little knife won't work. So, of course, I just have to go ahead and peel it once again guys go ahead and follow me on facebook Kali J's kitchen i also post um sometimes i post the videos over on facebook and i also put pictures over on facebook and you know sometimes people want to see some nice pictures of the food so i post them over on facebook I, i'm also on instagram it's Kali J. it's kalima kalima underscore Aisha. So you can also go ahead and follow me on um, Instagram also. I will put my Instagram link in the description box. Once again, all of the recipes are listed in the description box. Go ahead and try them out. Let me know what you think. Tell your friend, tell your family members about Kali J's Kitchen. And let them subscribe to my channel. We are on our way to 2K subscribers. I'm feeling so proud of you guys. And also, I'm feeling proud of myself. So guys, if you want to see more of my cooking, send me a DM, send me a message via Facebook or Instagram and let me know what meal you want to see prepared for you. So this big boy taking a little time to peel, but we are getting there. All right, so I'm almost finished. Well, I'm finished, so I'm just going to wash it now and slice them up and show you how I'm going to grate her. So now, guys, I have already washed my dasheen and also my sweet potato, so it's time to go ahead and grate my sweet potato and my dasheen. Well, guys, I'm just going to show you how I start to grate it, and I'm going to do the rest off camera.
So as I said before, I'm going to do the other sweet potatoes and dashing off camera. So when we come back, I'll show you the full thing, what it looks like when it's already, when it's grated. So this is what the sweet potatoes look like and the dashin once it's grated. So the first thing that we're going to do now, I'm just going to add a piece of ginger. I forgot to show you guys the ginger when I was showing you all the ingredients that I'm going to use. I use a little piece of ginger because, you know, ginger give it a nice little taste, a nice little flavor. And you want to ensure that your sweet potato tastes good. So, you know, you have to add all of the nice good things them. Yes. Alright, so now that I'm finished grating my ginger, I'm just going to combine it together. Again, guys, you want to ensure that all of the ingredients is evenly distributed. So now that I'm finished combining the ginger with the sweet potato and the dashin, it's time to go ahead and add my coconut milk. And I know some person might say, why do coconut milk look like this? I did it the day before. I actually blend it the day before. So that's the reason why I look like that and I put it in the fridge. So I just added the coconut milk and I'm just combining the coconut milk, the sweet potato and of course the dashin and the ginger together. I'm just adding the rest of the coconut milk and I'm just going to combine Look at that, guys. Wow. I didn't even add the other um, spice yet, and it smells so good. So now it's time to go ahead and, and add all of my dry ingredients together. Now, for the flour, I'm going to add it in part parts. And also for the cornmeal. So I added the flour first and I also added some of the cornmeal. Now I'm going to add the nutmeg. And I'm also going to add the cinnamon powder. And of course I'm going to add the mixed spice. And I'm just going to combine this together. Now I'm just going to go ahead and add some more flour. And I'm just showing you what it looks like. So now I'm going to add the brown sugar. And I'm just going to combine the brown sugar with the flour, the cornmeal, the mixed spice the nutmeg and the cinnamon powder and of course I'm adding the other portion of the cornmeal so now that I'm finished combining the dry ingredients together it's time to go ahead and add the dry ingredients to the wet ingredients so of course you don't want to add all of the flour mixture the dry ingredients at once to the sweet potato mixture you want to ensure that you add it like half half so as you can see I add one half first and I'm gonna add some more and, and leave another half to add so I'm adding in three times basically if you understand what I'm saying so I'm gonna add one half first another half and then I'm gonna add the final half to the potato mixture And I'm just combining everything together. Again, guys, you want to ensure that your ingredients are evenly distributed. So as you can see, I went ahead and I also add the margarine, the melted margarine. I didn't just add it like that. I put it in the microwave and I melt it before I add it to the mixture. 
and of course I'm gonna go ahead and add the vanilla flavoring guys you should smell this it smells so good all right so now that I'm I've added the vanilla flavoring I'm just gonna combine everything together and I'm also going to add my mixed fruits. No, guys, some persons might say, you know, why I don't see any raisin? For me, I don't like raisins. I don't like the taste of raisins when it's baked. So what I'm going to do, I have some mixed fruits that I blended from Christmas. So I added it to the mixture. Now, as you can see, I am adding some coconut trash or coconut flakes, whichever you call it. So, you can call it coconut flakes or coconut trash. I'm adding some. Some of the flakes. And guys, for this mixture, I'm going to bake this pudding for one and a half hour at 350 degrees. Alright, so now it's time to go ahead and add my mixture to my baking pan. So I already, I've already greased my baking pan, so I'm just adding the mixture. Once again guys, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. If you are watching this video, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Alright, so I'm just going to place this in the oven. And when it's almost baked, I'm going to remove it from the oven. And I'm going to show you what I do next. Alright guys, so a lot of persons might say, you know, when, it, when I bake my pudding, it come out dry, it don't have that nice little mushy thing on the top. So now I'm going to show you how you make that nice little mushy custard for your pudding. So already I have gone ahead and added some brown sugar, also added some hot water and I'm going to add some coconut milk powder. And you want to ensure that most of the lumps from the coconut milk powder is mixed out. So now to give it that nice little flavor, you know, you can still spice it up a little bit. So I'm going to add some vanilla flavoring. I'm also going to add some cinnamon powder and the mixed spice for baking. Now guys, if you want to add some more nutmeg, you can also go ahead and add nutmeg. If you don't want to add your nutmeg, then that's fine and of course if you want to add some more ginger that would be good it give it a nice flavor and as i said before it give it a nice taste so i'm just going to put this on the stove to just come to a boil for roughly two minutes and then i'm going to remove it and show you what i do next all right guys so this is what my pudding looks like and it's almost finished baking so what i'm going to do that little sauce or custard that i made for my pudding, I'm just going to add it on top. And of course, we're going to spread it all over the pudding. Because 
as I said before, you want to have that little mushy, nice little look for your pudding. And oh, you know that your pudding almost finished baking. You can use a toothpick and the toothpick will tell you that, you know, it finished. Because once you dip the toothpick inside of the pudding, then it will come out clear and that's an indication that your pudding is finished baking. So as I said before, this will give it that nice little mushy look. And of course you have to allow your pudding to cool before you cut your pudding. Or else you're going to spoil the entire pudding. So I'm just spreading it all over. And I'm going to put it back in the oven to bake for roughly 5 to 10 minutes. And then I'm going to show you the finish and the final product of my Jamaican sweet potato pudding. So I'm just ensuring that the sauce for the pudding is spread all over. And of course, I'm going to put it back in the oven for roughly 5 to 10 minutes and show you the final product. Alright guys, so this is what my sweet potato pudding looks like after 5 to 10 minutes. So I'm just going to cut it and show you the final product. I'm going to leave it to cool of course and then I'm going to cut it. Because you don't want to cut this now because it's really hot. You want to allow it to cool down and everything soak in properly. And that little white thing guys is because of the coconut milk. So guys, this is the final product, the final look of my Jamaican sweet potato pudding. I hope you enjoy this video. I hope you try this recipe and I hope you tell your friends to tell another friend about Kali J's Kitchen. I hope you subscribe to my channel and guys, once again, thank you for supporting me. Thank you for subscribing to my channel. Thank you for all the love. Thank you again, guys. I really appreciate it and see you in the next video. Bye.